Make sure you watch this video to the end because at the end I will discuss the amount that only one person in the world actually owns, making it by definition the rarest mount of all time. Here are five of the rarest mounts in classic World of Warcraft. Swift Zillion Tiger. This mount was highly sought after for its amazing appearance, the most obvious reason being it's a tiger, the only tiger mount in the game that actually looks like a tiger which makes you stand out from the crowd. The armor plating is also pretty cool, having jade stones attached to the tiger and glowing eyes. However, the method of getting this amazing mount was from running Zolgrub, a 20 man entry level raid. This did not have a wide loot table as it was only dropped from a single boss in Zolgrub named High Priest for Carl, which had a mere 2% chance of dropping this mount. Factor in, you will be amongst 19 other people who will of course want this mount for themselves, and you have a 0.1% chance of getting this mount each week running Zulgur up. Meaning, according to the law of averages, it would take you 1000 weeks of running Zulgur up every week before you got this mount. Or, the equivalent would be 19 years of running Zulgur up each week before your chances of getting this mount would average out. That's pretty rare. And as such, it was very uncommon to see people riding this mount. And if you saw someone wearing this, you knew they were probably a guild leader or a guild officer or someone because most guilds would not just give this mount out to anyone. <laughs> Winter Spring Frost Saber. This mount is special for a number of reasons. First being its appearance, of course. This Sabertooth's appearance is definitely cool looking. I and many others have thought that the Frost Saber model looked pretty damn cool, and many hunters back in the day tamed a Frost Saber simply for its looks. Despite there being way better hunter pets out there, many people wanted the Frost Saber simply because of its appearance. Something unique about this mount is that it required 75 riding instead of 300, which meant if you got this mount, you would never have to spend 1000 gold to train epic riding, which back in the day was a ton of money. You could use this 100% speed mount without ever learning the epic riding skill. That was pretty cool. However, to get this mount required one of the most painful and repetitive grinds in WoW history. To get this mount required you to be alliance only and you needed to be exalted with a very small and specific faction in Winterspring. So how did he get exalted? Well, the way you boosted reputation was by doing the same quest over and over and getting the loot drops and then returning back to the NPC. Do this over and over again until you get exalted. It's worth mentioning, as you progressed in your reputation, you could get other repeatable quests, but that doesn't change the fact that you need to do the same quest over and over. One of the quests asks you to defeat some frost giants which were elite mobs. These quests gave you double the reputation reward, however, even doing the elite quests, it still required you to complete 350 of these quests. And if you were doing the regular mob quests, it would take you about 750 quest completions to get exalted. If you saw someone with this mount, you knew that person was dedicated, as getting the Frost Saber mount was no joke. Black Karaji Resonating Crystal the Anchorage Gate opening event was a huge server-wide event in WoW's history. The event was so incredibly cool and made the game feel alive and dynamic. However, the hardcore raiders just ignored the war event and as the gate opened, they just beelined into the raid portal. However, for a very limited time, you could obtain a legendary mount named Black Karaji Resonating Crystal. This mount was the only usable Karaji battle tank outside of the instance, as AQ-40 had a mechanic where you could use mounts, but it had to be the AQ-40 mounts that couldn't be used outside. However, the Black Karaji Resonating Crystal could be used anywhere in Azeroth. The mount was extremely limited however. Only after the event started, for a time period of only 10 hours, could you obtain this mount. And the way you got it was by banging the gong outside of AQ. And just think about that, only 10 hours. Most people take 10 hours to sleep. And if you were in the wrong part of the world and this event took place, you simply could not get it and there was no way you could even find out about it. As after those 10 hours are over, it's done. You can no longer get that mount. As such, many people never got the Black Resonating Crystal and the few lucky people that got it were seen as extremely lucky. Getting this mount required you to be in a very specific time and place and you could get the mount, but many people at the time weren't really thinking on that level and most people simply didn't get it. The appearance of this mount was certainly cool. 
being that the bug mount is usable outside of AQ40 and no other mounts had that kind of model. But the color scheme was also pretty cool, having a black and purple colorway. Death Charger's Reigns. This epic mount is by far the hardest mount to obtain in classic World of Warcraft. It dropped from the level cap 5 man dungeon strat form from the final boss Baron Rivender. This incredibly low drop chance of 0.02% meant it was essentially impossible to obtain. And you can cut that 0.02% chance by a division of 5 due to everyone that will roll need. Also factor in, running a 5 man dungeon, a percentage of those attempts will see your group disband before you even reach Ban Rivender, as these Stratform runs would easily last an hour plus. Although the appearance of this mount was not so incredible, the mount's visual was similar to all the other undead epic mounts. Although had a subtle colour swap to a dark blue. It's worth mentioning that the other rare mounts in Vanilla WoW has unique models which would stand out from a crowd of players. For example, the Swift Rizashi Raptor or the Swift Zillion Tiger had a very interesting visual and as such was a status symbol in World of Warcraft Vanilla. Despite being significantly easier to obtain, than the Death Charger's reigns, in my opinion, this mount isn't worth farming. Even if you run Stratform a billion times and you have a lucky person to win the role for this mount, the appearance of this mount is very similar to the standard undead horses that most people playing the game won't even realize you are using it. Although in modern World of Warcraft, this mount has a significantly higher drop chance and is now boosted to 1%. 1% is still low, but a huge gap between the previous 0.02% while Stratform took an hour plus to run. So, by definition, the rarest mount in the game is the fluorescent green Meccano Strider. This color variant of the Meccano Strider is an unobtainable item. Like the original version of the Ashbringer, it was never planned to be in the hands of players. So how did a player come into possession of this? The story goes like this. In 2006, a known player accidentally deleted his mount and contacted the GMs at Blizzard. Instead of giving him the mount he deleted that anyone can buy from a vendor, they actually gave him one of the unobtainable in-game mounts for fluorescent green Meccano Strider. This was a big mistake by the GM, and he probably just looked at a list of level 40 no mounts and just randomly gave him one, not knowing that the fluorescent green variant was never put in the game. Usually in these cases, Blizzard will correct their mistake and remove the mount as this was not intended to be given to a player. But in this case, they let him own it and they never deleted the fluorescent green Meccano Strider. The unidentified player became the only ever player to own this and the unobtainable item he actually owned. Unfortunately for this player, he is rumored to have been banned for trying to sell his account for an incredible amount of money to a third party website. It was a pretty bad decision on his part if that is true, as items that are unique as this are easily detected by Blizzard for account trading. Unfortunately, now that the account has been banned, so did the fluorescent green Meccano Strider, and it is the last of its kind. It's worth mentioning you can come across this Meccano Strider in vanilla near the riding trainer in Dunmoreau. Although the fluorescent green variation is shown on display as an NPC, there is no way of buying it for yourself, it is merely there to tease you. Well guys, if you like this video, please like down below and subscribe to the channel for more. This is Volty, signing out.